Tom is out checking out a pretty cool summer camp for kids uh, that includes some art lessons, Tom. Yeah, you guys, this is such a great place. So they opened in 1984. It's the Schemer Art Center right on Camelback, right about 50th Street. And I've been driving past this place for years, and I've done a bunch of stories in here. And it's great for these kind of kids because they're really just learning how to, do, how to create art, and they're at the very beginning of their adventure into the art world. So what do you like most about doing art? I like it that it's, um, it's really detailed. Yeah. And, well... It's art. Yeah. And who doesn't love art? And how about you? What's, first of all, what's your favorite color? Probably purple. Yeah, that works. I like royal purple, but I'm a blue guy, to be honest with you. What do you love about art? It's just, there's no right or wrong to it, and you can do whatever you want. Isn't that the truth? I love it. Absolutely. Brian Boner's the instructor, instructor here. Brian, first of all, get your phone out. Brian did some murals downtown, and I'm always blown away by people that do, artists that do murals, because it's such a big canvas, but this one, where will we find this one, Brian? This one's on the corner of 6th Street and Roosevelt in downtown yeah. Phoenix in the Arts District. Yeah, all right. So how do you attack a wall that big? Um... Brick by brick. <laughs> Just like eating an elephant, bite by bite. Yep. All right, so let's talk about these kids. They're, they're really in the infancy of their artwork. Well, what's the first thing you want to get across to them when it comes to being an artist? Well, the first thing I tell them is that there are no mistakes. You can't make a mistake in here. Um, everything is about just expressing themselves, being creative, using color and shape and line. We give them some uh, real basic techniques and show them some art history um, and just try to allow them to express themselves and create a foundation for, for artwork for the future. Yeah, come on up here. I see you have some other students in here. And you have the uh, summer art camp, which is a lot of fun. How many students you work through here? Um, there are groups of a, around 10 in each, um, in each level. So they, they go from drawing. They're here for two hours. Then they go to the painting class, and then they go to a ceramics class after that. I told the kids in the painting class, rule number one, don't get paint on me. That's <laughs> rule number one. Brian, such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, you you guys look for his work downtown. Of course, I've got Shauna James with me. She's the president and CEO of the Schemer Art Center. Let's walk through here before we start talking to you, Shauna. This place has been around since 84. And what is it that you love about being the president of something like this? Because it is a cool space. It's very cool. And every day we get to make a difference in somebody's life. So today in June, we get to uh, host over 100 children. And most of the time, we have adults in here every day. So every day we can make a difference. And you've been around long enough where you've seen some of these kids kind of get older and really grow into their artwork, so to speak. Absolutely. And we have kids that come from all over. We have grandparents that fly their kids in from as far away as Chicago. Right. Last week we had a family that was here for their third year from California. Well, you can never have enough Chicagoans in here, Shana. So you guys do artwork uh, around the year. It's not just this summer camp. Tell everybody about how they can sign up to for other, other art classes. Correct. We have adult classes mostly throughout the year, and we have them all listed on our website. We have up to seven classes a day and people don't realize that you can come here for an art lecture at night, wine and watercolor, um, wa workshop on the weekend. We have changing exhibitions in our galleries up front and we do four major events per year. Very cool. Wine and watercolor. I think that Renee and Desiree would be in on that. This is cool. Okay, like I said earlier, you guys, rule number one, don't get paint on me. All right? That's the whole trick. Coming up, you guys, we're going to talk about some ceramics. they got a ceramics class over here. What do you love about art? Um... I like how you can express your emotions with something that's not just talking or orally expressing it. Yeah, yeah. And how about you? What do you love about art? I love how you can do your own things and love it as much as you can before. Yeah, and then you get to show it off. And how about you, Shy Guy? What you got going over here? What do you love about art? I love the colors, how they're like the... The br bright colors and the dark colors blend nicely. Yeah, that's cool. I'm just like you. I like the shiny object in the room. Yeah, we're at, <laughs> we're at the Shimmer Art Center, you guys. And again, they're having their summer camp right now. All these kids are learning how to do this. And it's a, a progressive thing. They just learn one, one uh, medium after another. And by the time they get out of here, they know what they're doing. At the end of the summer, they got their, they're making all kinds of ceramics and artwork and painting and drawing and all that good stuff. I'd like to see you paint something, Tommy. Well, you know I have ten thumbs. You saw me make a pizza the other That's day. That's true. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> really work scary. as well. Maybe you'll do better with those ceramics. You Maybe. Think? Yeah, you might. I can't, e we'll I can't even make a pizza. You think I can make a painting? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> but in Scottsdale. Hey, Tommy.
As a kid, I went to a Boy Scout camp, and so I started drawing a picture of it. And the beauty of it is that Hooner showed up, and then Renee and Desiree. So I got all you guys in there, and you never make a sun. I was teaching all the kids this. You never draw a sun without sunglasses because it's the sun. And it's so bright. But all these kids are learning technique. And, of course, N N Noemi is the uh, instructor here. Noemi, folks at home, they got kids. They want to get them into art. What's the first thing you're teach teaching these kids as they learn to paint? Well, first and foremost, kids need to know that art is for everyone. And we are all born artists. We are all born being able to create something. But practice makes perfect, and practice is really what keeps us being creative. So having these kids in this camp actually feeds that creativity. It helps them to practice being creative, mm -hmm. and being creative really makes us better human beings. We're able to solve more problems. We're better at math. We're better at how many other things are we, are we good at when we, are, when we practice art? Miss Maggie? All right, well, I know there's math involved. I know you're mixing colors, but nice to see you guys. Yeah, good luck. Thanks, Noemi. Of course, Sam was, was with me again. And check this out, you guys. This used to be an old home. And so that's what's so cool about this facility is that as we make our way through the house, uh, Shana, what is so unique about this house? Because I think it's really cool. And as you notice, as we go here, there's a bathtub over here. It was a private residence for 50 years until Martha Schemer bought it, and then she gave it to the city so people could come here and gather and, in this case, enjoy art. That's so nice of Martha to do that. And, of course, I've got James Schwartz with me. He's in charge of uh, making pottery, yeah. all kinds of stuff, of porcelain. Now, what are they, what are they learning today, James? Uh, so today we are on day three of making our teapots. So teapots use all kinds of different methods of ceramics. We have coil pots, pinch pots, slabs. Uh, basically, all the necessities to being a good ceramic artist can be found in a teapot. Let's talk about the very beginning, because uh, my kids all made uh, pinch pots, mm -hmm. and that's where I keep my guitar picks. Yeah. It worked out perfect. Yeah. But as they move forward, this particular project, they're actually learning a bunch of techniques. And I kind of equate it to cooking. You know how to steam, fry, yeah. you know, braise, all that stuff. Same thing for this project, too. Explain how that works. Yeah, so all of those individual techniques come into play, right? It's, it's a lot like cooking, right? You have all the like different methods of preparing food. It's the same thing with clay. Clay is it's kind of magical like that. There's different ways you can prepare it and put it all together uh, and every time you do it you can make it a little bit different and a little bit special that's really cool so there are a lot of ceramic places around town what's the first technique you want kids to learn it's not just a clump of clay and they start pounding it with their fist I, I mean coil pot and pinch pot it's the yeah. same method that indigenous cultures have been using around the world for over 10,000 years and there's a reason for it it is it's the baseline to making uh, vessels shapes anything that can hold something it really was kind of the linchpin to the start of ceramics as uh, functional wear so yeah. How do you keep them from making, uh, stop them from making balls and throw them at each other? Because I don't think I sat in a clay class without hitting Tom Armel with something. Yeah, I mean, they're very respectful, which is great. We got a great group of kids here. Uh, they know that throwing clay, it's not good. You don't want to waste your materials as an artist. That's the most expensive thing you have. So, James, you're doing a great job. Thanks so much. Shauna, really quick, give us your website so people can sign up for art classes. Absolutely. Schemerartcenter.org. That's S-H-E-M-E-R artcenter.org. And we... Uh, uh, th these clamps sell out in two weeks, so back in February. So watch our website and get ready for next year. How about that? Schemer Art Center, you guys. I'm Camelback, right around 50th Street. Everybody wave goodbye to everybody. Uh, also, sh pick up your pottery if you can. So cool, you guys. Good job. Oh, there goes the lid. <laughs>